Hello again. This is Crystal with Making Monday Magical. This week's Witchy Wisdoms Wednesday topic is altar tools. So I'm going to be talking about how to represent the elements on your altar. Hope you enjoy. Welcome back. As a reminder, we're talking altar tools, and I'm specifically speaking about representing the elements on your altar. So for Earth, right here I have this adorable gemstone tree. This is actually from my children's altar kit that we got. Uh, for Earth, the traditional tool is the pentacle, but you could also use uh, anything from nature. You could go out into your yard and collect rocks, Acorns, flowers, I like to change it up seasonally, so use acorns in the autumn, flowers in the spring. You could go uh, with a simple tarot card to represent. Uh, you could use the Ace of Pentacles as traditional tarot representing earth. For air, I have a feather. Again, this is from my children's altar kit. Uh, the traditional tool would be the athame. You could use a bell or a fan or a wind instrument, such as a flute or even a recorder. The traditional tarot card would be the Ace of Swords. For fire, their kit came with this battery-operated tea light for safety. You could use a regular candle. The traditional tool would be the wand. Some other options would be any spicy foods, like a hot pepper. Uh, phallus is a, often used to represent fire. You could use volcanic stones or ashes. The tarot card represents fire is the Ace of Wands. And then for water, we have this abalone shell. The traditional tool would be the cup or chalice. Some other options would be driftwood. You could use a fish figurine. Uh, many people use a mirror to represent water. The tarot card would be the Ace of Cups. I'm going to give you a couple different options too. If you don't want to use specific items, or maybe you're in the broom closet still, you can get real simple with uh, shot glasses, one for each element. This here is actually a repurposed Glade candle holder. Once it was burned out, I just cleaned it up. Here I have Salt for Earth. You could also use soil or sand. For air, I like to use incense uh, or essential oils for the aromatherapy, which you could just put on a cotton ball or one of those special pads for essential oils. And I like to do either a seasonal blend or a blend I'm using for the Sabbath that we're celebrating. For fire, just a candle, a lit candle. Uh, like I showed, the tea light is a safe option if you can't have fire or open flame. Otherwise, you could just uh, use a regular candle. White is your general uh, substitution for any color. Remember that. And this is just a candle holder I got at the Dollar Tree. For water, bam, water. This is moon water. You could use rain water, any sort of water. Is perfect. Um, also, other things you could do is you could just do a crystal for each element. So for Earth, you could do like a green crystals such as emerald or malachite. For air, you would do you know yellow is the traditional color of air, so you'd citrine or topaz. For fire, uh, ruby or carnelian. For water, aquamarine or lapis or sodalite. Uh, you could even go just with a candle for each using those colors I've already spoken about. So the traditional earth colors, green, brown, air would be yellow or white, fire, red or orange, water would be blue. 
you could use an image of any object. For Earth, you could just use a, a picture of the Earth. For air, clouds, fire, uh, a campfire perhaps. For water, a picture of the ocean or a river. You could also, if you, you could just use pictures or you could decorate a tile to represent each element. All right, so I hope I've given you some different ideas and I'd love to hear in the comments below what sort of element, what sort of things you use to represent the elements on your altar if you do. Thank you as always. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more content. And of course, I'm going to put the links to all the other contributors to the Witchy Wisdoms Wednesday in the description. Please go check them out. Thanks and have a great day.